Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And today, we got another teaser for tomorrow's update, update saying August 17th. Ever get the feeling you are being watched? And on this one, uh, you are in, again, it looks like it's some sort of underground bunker, I.O. base. And they have a whole lot of screens here. Every screen uh, has a, uh, you know, it's a screenshot of the mini map. And I guess they're just watching us all in all these different matches, watching uh, where the storm is going, watching where we're going. Uh, one of the maps has a red X on it where uh, steamy stacks is in that area so that has me interested to know you know what is going on with that uh you know why 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 do they have a red x on there and what's going to be happening in that location that they decided to uh point that out or to mark that x on that map so we'll be keeping a close eye on that for the update now the update uh, it is coming tomorrow, version 17.40, and this is what they have to say about it. They say, grab your coral buddy, version 17.40 rises up on August 7th. In preparation for the update, downtime will begin at approximately 4 a.m. Eastern. Matchmaking will be disabled approximately 30 minutes before. So like they said... Uh, it's going, it, it, it's rising up on August 17th and grab your coral buddy because, uh, you know, to me, that looks like the next location that's going to be starting to get abducted by the mothership. Uh, we know that we already had Slippery Swamp get abducted, so looks like Coral Castle is about to be abducted next. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the... Next piece of news I want to talk about is pretty cool uh, because, like I said, growing up for me, I was always a big fan of the DC superheroes. Wonder Woman being one of the best of them uh, is coming to Fortnite. From Paradise Island to the Fortnite Island, Wonder Woman arrives in Fortnite. As the invasion continues, a continued call for help reaches new ears. A champion of peace and a beacon of hope, Wonder Woman arrives in Fortnite. The fierce Amazonian warrior leaves Paradise Island and lands in Fortnite to fight alongside fellow Justice League members. You can purchase Wonder Woman with her armored variant in the item shop on August 19th, 2021 at 8 p.m. Eastern. Deck out your entire locker with her set that includes the Golden Eagle Wings glider, Athena's battle axe, a DC Trinity loading screen, and Diana's mantle back bling that comes in two variants. Uh, let's see here. Take on the competition in the Wonder Woman Cup. Grab a friend and compete in the Wonder Woman Cup on August 18th, 2021 for the opportunity to earn the Wonder Woman outfit and Diana's mantle back bling before it hits the item shop. You and your partner will have three hours to complete up to 10 matches and earn as many points as possible. The top performing teams in each region will receive the Wonder Woman outfit and Diana's mantle back bling. Any team that earns eight points or more will also receive the honorary Amazon's loading screen. So that is pretty awesome. The point format, uh, we're not going to go through the whole point format, but as always, players must have two-factor authentication enabled on their Epic account and be at account level 30 or above. You can check your account level information on the career tab in-game. Please read the Wonder Woman Cup official rules for all the details and check the compete tab in-game for when your region region's cup starts. So again, pretty awesome excited to get wonder woman in here and complete the trinity right uh i already own multiple versions of batman in fortnite uh obviously unlocked superman and can't wait to have wonder woman uh let's see here uh in uh, the next thing that we're going to go ahead and cover is what we have in the ltms today arsenal squads team rumble arena zone wars duos looks like we got the hype cup uh going on right now as well we have Hotel Fight, Pro 100, Fortnite Fashion Show, and Battle Lab. Uh, if we're going to do a challenge tip today, the next challenge that we are on 
is to uh, use a Gravitron or a Saucer's tractor beam to deliver a tractor to Hayseed's farm. Okay, so Hayseed's farm is Steel Farm, okay? Now what you're going to do at the green bridge just south of it, underneath that bridge, there is a... Uh, a saucer, a downed saucer that's underneath that bridge every match. It's always there. So you can just go straight for that bridge, go grab a tractor beam, and then when you go to Hayseed's farm, steel farm, uh, when you go to the east side of it in the cornfield, there is a tractor that is just sitting there in the, in the farm, right? So all you have to do is pick it up with the saucer and then drop it on the house and boom it will say that you brought a tractor to the farm even though the, far the tractor was already technically there so that's actually a pretty easy challenge to get done so there's that let's go ahead and take a look at what we have over in the item shop today we have uh you know, that Cyber Infiltration Pack and Infiltration Tools Pack is still here. Star-Lord Bundle, Gamora Bundle. Looks like we have all of the o Origin set, so all the uh, OG Chapter 1 characters in here today. All the different models. Uh, each of them is 800 V-Bucks separately. The OG Glider is 500 V-Bucks. And then, of course, you can get the Royale Originals bundle and the Battle Classics bundle. Each of those bundles is 2,000 V-Bucks each. Uh, let's see here. And then we have the Funk Ops outfit with the Golden Disco Backling for 1,500. The Arctic Assassin outfit for 1,200. The Billy Bounce emote for 500. The Taxi emote for 200. We have the Hex Wave Wrap for 500. The Hex Form Wrap for 500. Uh, we get the Galaxy Pack Back Bling, which, or the Ga Galaxy Pack Bundle, which has the Galaxy Scout Outfit, Nucleus Back Bling, Stardust Strikers Harvesting Tool, and Celestria Glider, all for 2,800 V-Bucks. That's 1,200 off the total. You can get the Galaxy Scout Outfit with the Nucleus Back Bling for 2,000, the Stardust Strikers Harvesting Tool for 1,200, and the Celestria Glider for 800. Uh, the Stardust or the Star Scout wrap is 500. Uh, and then we have the Say So emote for 500. And then we got this awesome new back bling, Little Guff Big Fluff, or uh, the Guffy Stuffy back bling, part of the Mythical Might set. And again, uh, I just recently talked about how I really love this set and I love that the crew pack, uh, you know, is part uh, of this uh, set. And I love that we got this awesome back bling now. So I'm definitely going to be getting this one and be uh, using it uh, with the characters in that set. Uh, and, you know, he's such a cute little guy. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, of course, they brought back a guff outfit as well with the fluffle bag back bling for 1,200. The regal floof harvesting tool is 800. The surf witch outfit with the star power back bling is 1,200. The Starstruck Axe Harvesting Tool is 800. The Complex Outfit with the Purple Jam Back Bling is 1,200. The Street Shine Harvesting Tool is 1,200. The Exile Glider is 500. The Paint Splash Wrap is 500. And that looks like that's everything today. So you can get any and all of these items using code Mikey. M-M-M-I-K-I-E in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give you a tip of the day today and that is, you know, you're going to end up in a situation where, uh, you know, you're always trying to take another player's wall. And there's always things that you can do to in these situations that uh, give yourself a better, ch a better chance of eliminating, eliminating uh, the player once you take that wall. And one of the things that you can do is that right when you break the wall and you can replace a wall, you can also place a ramp at the same time. So not only will you place the wall uh, that you're replacing, but you're going to place the ramp so that they're boxed inside of their... Uh, inside of the box with the ramp that you own. So that gives them less options to escape. And now you can make an edit on your wall uh, to get in and then edit, uh, you know, 
uh, like a half ramp or whatever kind of ramp you're going to decide to make, probably the half ramp though. So that way you can go ahead and then finish off the elimination. And again, just cutting off uh, so many ways where they're able to escape by also placing that ramp in there. So that's going to give you a big advantage on making sure that you actually get that elimination once you replace that wall. All right, that's going to be the episode for today. Make sure you go join the daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.